Okay, we are here with Slivko. This is day three at IM World Championship. Uh, it's almost uh, evening now, so we'll keep it short uh, so we can go home and have a nice rest. So, Slivko, you're unfortunately out of the tournament. You went 1-4 in your group. Uh, were you not prepared enough or were there any other reasons for your performance? Uh, I think I, I lose in my group. I, I play uh, my le level of gaming, it's okay, but I uh, no have time because I start uh, playing here on this farm when uh, I am say that uh, this tournament was uh, hot. Uh, that's why I have only 10 days for training. And um, I understand uh, ZVT. Okay, I uh, understanding ZVZ and ZVT because ZVZ is same. Or, or how in uh, Wings of Liberty, I think uh, ZVT it's okay. But uh, ZVP, I know to the set how I can win a uh, Protoss in Macro game. Uh, that's why I have free Protoss. And uh, when I play in Macro, because I'm uh, um, bec uh, because I think that Zerg really uh, now we have more new units, but. I now think that I can kill Brotos uh, in a uh, middle or early game, really, because he has force field and he has mothership core uh, with uh, new ability, and he, uh, Brotos can defend so so easy, I think. That's why you must go to uh, macro, but in macro you lose. And I, I, I play five macro games and lose all, and now chance, really. It's uh, is it uh, like we've been talking to? Uh, people about the late game protos and this is apparently a big problem right now uh, and the f a finger is pointed towards void rays people say void rays are too strong the the way they get charged now is really really game changing and game breaking even do you see this as the only problem or are there any other reasons why protos is too strong in late game i don't know really uh uh, I, uh, <coughs> I think, yeah, Void Ray is so strong, but uh, sometimes uh, you uh, not do how do I, because I am uh, fight with uh, charged Void Ray. I can uh, come back and uh, use Fungal, and when uh, Void Ray uh, no charge, you can attack, and Void Ray have a, a little damage. You have more chance to win, but, uh, you know, Protoss have Tempest, it's uh, 90 five damage for Broodlords, it's it's really high damage, really, it's free shot, no Broodlords. I, I can't heal sometimes because you, oh no, good Protoss, one shot, one shot, one shot, one shot, no Broodlords, really. But, uh, and uh, mm, Templars, oh well, no, uh, support units in Protoss, so good, Temp Templars are Archons, it's uh, splash damage for air and earth, that's why it's really strong, but I don't know what Blizzard uh, must fix or need fix, I don't know, maybe they are not understanding. No, probably how? just lower the damage. Uh, I don't know really, but I think no. I, I say Zerg, maybe you know, uh, in Wings of Liberty, Zerg uh, was so weakly uh, two years because they not understand how he must playing. Yeah, uh, and now maybe we not understand and all okay. <laughs> It's not. Uh, so uh, um, this kind of leads into my next question. Uh, now that we are talking about macro games, etc., you are quite known for favoring uh, macro games in Wings of Liberty. Do you think their Zergs should uh, are now stronger in early, like uh, low base aggression play, and should avoid like li late games like the hell? Uh, I think Zerg not uh, bigger stronger. Yeah, okay, we have Swarm Host. But uh, if my opponent is so strong and understand how he can defend it, it's it's not hard. Western is not hard really. Uh, uh, versus, uh, versus Protoss, if Protoss have uh, a good first field or good move, it's really I think it's easy to defend because when I see uh, uh, how very good Zerg, same uh, Hune or another no, top GSL Zerg. Uh, use cheese from two bases from host to brothers brothers always defense really and i try they defense it's it's not hard that's why i don't think that's a early game uh, it's so easy for zerg i think it's it's same and uh, i not I, i'm i'm playing to uh, uh sometimes i'm uh, not uh, like attack at early game because you now you you must uh, your opponent must have mistake that's why you win you can uh, do all very good, but if your opponent now have a mistake, you, you can't win. Because if you oh, you have good force felt, uh, good build older than other, really. <laughs> That's why I am playing macro try, but it's my style now. Uh, so, uh, 
about IEM tournaments, you have had a really good spree, basically. Uh, you took top four in Singapore, uh, but I want to go one step back and IEM clone. You played this game against MVP, super long macro game, if you, uh, and you actually tried to steal a SCV for a command center. Why the hell did you do that? Like, did you really need the command center or you just thought it would be fun? Yeah, of course, I need Mool. Mool Limba. I, I want uh, production so more command center and then Mool Mool Mool, scan, scan, scan. Okay, and uh, kill my drone and have more army. But so it was just I, about the mules. Of course, mules, Imba. Man, it's really Imba. <laughs> so, uh, do you think you would have beaten MVP if he allowed you to get mules? Yeah. This <laughs> yeah, of course, because I'm, I can have uh, 100 and uh, I think yeah, I, I think I, have, I, I can have 200 uh, army supply. No drones? Uh, no, I, I can uh, extra drone, you know. Uh, go to evolution chamber, spore crawlers, that's why I can have mules and 200 army limited and few drones, maybe 20, maybe no, four, four gazes. And it's, it's really nice, but <laughs> it's so long a game and it's funny. Six can have all the OP stuff, so we must give Terran some. So, uh, talking about OP stuff, um, a lot of the guys we've interviewed uh, uh, have pointed towards uh, Terran getting too many advantages right now uh, in uh, in Wihad of the Swarm. You said that the ZVT is okay, but apparently the other matches are kind of hard when you play against the Terran. They, um, they have like the, the Medivac speed boost now, yeah. Widow Mine, uh, upgraded Siege Tech. Uh, this is actually something that Whitera told yeah. us. Like, Okay, I understand questions, but uh, you know, uh, yeah, I understand ZVT, but I don't say it's, it's easy. It's really hard because uh, in early game, uh, I think it uh, was good opening, uh, well, good opening, it's a uh, few weeks, all turn uh, was playing in Reaper because you have Reaper, no, some, some Reapers and Harass Zerg, it's really uh, hard to stop and uh, have uh, maybe, uh, yeah, and have free command center. It's it's good strategy how play you now MVP Dream and Zerg. I think now have uh, idea how he can kill so early. That's why he can go to macro game, but uh, Terran have uh, uh, domination, <laughs> you know, more money. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's why so greedy and uh, it's really hard and uh, metal like boost. You 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 can't um, sometimes you can't uh, out your bases because metal lags with boost coming drop and if you sometimes have spore he. Has, no, run away from spore and drop, uh, kill anything and go away. It's but I don't know. It's it's yeah. It's it's Hotsman. Sounds like being harassed by mutalisks. <laughs> yeah, mutalisk so strong now in Hots and uh, I use because it's really a uh, uh, good unit now. But uh, it's not Imba. <laughs> I need Imba, man. <laughs> Uh, okay, so uh, let's put uh, Heart of the Swarm aside. I want to ask you, uh, you were recently a part of Rock's Kiss, now you're in Vipro, Virtus Pro. Uh, why did you move um, out of Rock's Kiss? This is a team that's been known for a long time, basically. Has, has been having really strong players. Why move from Rock's to Vipro? Uh, because my contract is over and uh, uh, Virtus Pro give me better resolution. And uh, I think now, if you uh, stay uh, on one place uh, all time, you uh, no, you level not up or up so slow. You need sometimes is uh, go to another place. It's have no new idea, new motivation. It's it's enough. Uh, yeah, you're the only StarCraft 2 player on Vipro. Uh, I don't think they signed anybody. I think you're the only active right now, right? Uh, don't you miss having teammates to practice, to share ideas? Okay. Yeah, uh, if you know, uh, I am practice with uh, people. Uh, uh, no, uh, when you go to a uh, good level, yeah, uh, you can uh, meet uh, people with who you, you need practice, really. That's why sometimes uh, you, you can have more player in team. But you not was you not need training with these people. You must you need training with another people because it's better for you. So. Expanding more on that uh, about the European scene, obviously a lot of strong players here on the continent. Uh, about your race, uh, the Zergs here in Europe, uh, like there are obviously strong names that everybody agrees that they are the best, like Ste Stefano Nacho, but. 
if you exclude those, if you say, okay, we, if we are not thinking about Stefano, not thinking about Nacho, who excels, who is the best Zerg in Europe? I don't know. Uh, now one uh, red adventure, uh, adventure the group. Okay, red best. Red. No, I don't know. All Zergs are good, and you can't say your best, your best. Maybe you you can uh, see how Zerg win money and who win more money. He best. It's I don't know because it's it's really sometimes you can beat in DVZ, but uh, maybe yeah you know uh, player have more matchups and you can play sometimes DVZ so good. Okay, I, sometimes I beat Stefano here on Dreamhack another tournament, but I I not better. You know it's it's tough, but yeah. That's why I don't know. <laughs> Better, you, you, I see yeah. how, how you can show. Yeah. Uh, see. What about worldwide? Uh, is there any Zerg uh, outside Europe that you particularly admire and like and try to learn, etc.? Nothing. No, nothing. No, not have. That's cool. That's that's also cool. Like people should actually watch you, because uh, no, why not? No. You, you, uh, yeah. But uh, uh, it's absolutely no sarcasm. I think that uh, you you have. No, sometimes of course I see JSL and other, but I not have uh, one Zerg. I like, uh, um, I, I show, I see how he playing because JSL Zerg play so different style, and you can uh, uh, um, can take uh, this strategy or this style because it's uh, best for you and it's okay. Uh, okay, so um, overall, just a very quick prediction on the tournament: who will take the cup in the end? Um, the, the trophy, obviously, Group D is still being played. I think there are two or three matches uh, left. Uh, but overall, we, we know most of the people that will be in the playoffs by now. Who do you think will just go grab the trophy and go home? Uh, I think it's it was Korean player <laughs> and um, MVP or Parting, maybe Yonghua. I think uh, it's top three. They're really stronger. I think it, it was maybe Yoda, I don't know. But so more Korean. people, okay. yeah, yep. current players are now in HOTS, they better, and in World 2. <laughs> so you, you don't think that HOTS will uh, make the gap between foreigners and Koreans smaller? It, it, will, make them, it will make it bigger? Mm, no, I think same maybe, but in, uh, you know, uh, in Europe we have, I think, so more good Zork, or maybe so more good patch Zork, how <laughs> people say, and... Uh, I think this patch Zork can, can win MVP and other, but in HOTS you see this game, how Stefana play with MVP, it's, 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 it's another level. Okay, so this was Livco, uh, I was Nitro from Ghost Gamers, uh, stay tuned for us, we'll bring you more interviews, more coverage, as I am approaches its end. Thank you and stay tuned. Uh, I can say... It. You can say? Yeah. Thank you. Thank, you. <laughs> thank you, my sponsor, BenQ. Uh, sorry, uh, thank you, you, for interview. Thank you, operator. And uh, sorry for my bad English. I'm from Russia. <laughs> Learn Russian and... We don't care uh, about bad English. <laughs> it's, it's, more, it's more natural and yeah. yourself this way. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye.